Is Florasis really the most beautiful makeup in the world? Indeed, Florasis has been named one of the most beautiful makeup in the world. And I'm going to be trying not only these three products right here, but several products that I have here in front of me right on my table. And if you don't know, Florasis is a Chinese brand that pays homage to their culture, interlacing it with bringing innovative technology on their makeup formulation. And I'm super excited to be partnering up with Florasis for today's video. They have kindly sent to me several products. Thank you so much to Florasis that honestly, I cannot hold them on my hand. And I have had them for about a week or even a little bit longer than a week. They are just so beautiful that I dedicated most of my time to take pictures, little videos of each of the products because when you see these beauties, you're going to be jaw drop amazed just like me. So I'm super excited to go ahead and try these products. And as you can tell, I already have my foundation, concealer, bronzer on. I will be leaving all the details about Florasis on the description box below, as well as a discount code that they have kindly sent to all of you, my followers. Again, everything will be on the description box below for your convenience. And let's start with the first product that I received, which is the Moisturizing Ginseng lip mask lovely packaging and you have to see this beauty right here and this is something that I do every single day that I do my makeup is to prep my lips now this balm has a little bit of kind of like a freshy herbal kind of scent to it and in fact florasis comes from the word flora and seas floral flower and seas sister because the passion of the founder of florasis with everything that has to do with florals and florasis brings into their formulation herbal and flower essences to each of their products to make it more soothing for the skin i love that okay let me show to you the consistency of this balm and then let's just get a little bit right there. It's really soft and thick in consistency, which I appreciate. This way, my lips will be ready for the lipsticks. Oh my gosh. I don't want to tell you everything because I'm just... I cannot wait for you to see, I mean, later, the lipsticks. Let's go for the Gorgeous Peach Blossom Seal Powder. Look at this gorgeous unicorn. It looks like a jewel. The design is just so pretty. And do you see the peacock right here with all the feathers around it? Wait till you see the compact. It's nice and well protected. It has kind of like a double wall. This is like a actual jewelry box. Oh my goodness. This is precious. The detail on the design is just incredible there's so much detail the craftsmanship going on these pieces with the peacock the feathers it's just stunning let's open it up wait and see look at the embossing of the peacock the detail the detail that you find on this piece is just incredible just simply incredible. I feel so bad to even touch it. Oh, it's so silky and smooth. And it has a little bit of translucency with a very slight peach undertone to it. Yeah, even the green one. The green one is on my middle finger. And you know, my friends, I don't like to set my entire face, but just my under eye area. And that's what I'm going to do today. By the way, this setting powder comes with a little, let me show it to you, a little puff. I love these kind of puffs. Nice and soft. So you can actually 
use your compact this way it has a beautiful mirror too so i'm gonna go with the path and just grab a little bit of the product and i'm gonna set underneath my eyes I feel that it mattifies just a little bit my makeup, but not too much. It looks more natural than anything else. And by the way, if you're wondering, there is no scent to it. So if you don't like, you know, strong scents, this will be perfect for you. And gosh the packaging is beautiful and for blush they have sent me the peony rosy blush and it comes in this beautiful compact it looks kind of like marble eyes love the dual shade now this top right here is more of a highlighter while this one right here is a blush you know what the formula is so soft and creamy and emollient. You see right there, so you have kind of like a combination of a soft matte blush because it's not super matte. It does have not shimmer, but a little bit of radiance to it. And then what I will consider a little bit more of a highlighter, but very soft too. I'm going to swatch it for you really quick here. There you have it. Let's give it a go. I love how healthy and youthful the cheeks look. Love this rosy tone. For highlighter, they sent me the shade 02, and this is the Peach Blossom Carve Flower pattern highlighter has a peachy undertone oh my gosh this is so soft this is super soft and oh wow <laughs> look at it wow this feels like a cream is extremely, extremely creamy. That's so pretty. It's super soft, super soft. And it has this creamy like consistency. Now let's go for eyeshadow and you have to see this eyeshadow palette called the Oriental Shine Makeup Palette. The Unicard, mm, exquisite. And now <laughs> take a deep breath right here. Oof. This is stunning. I just can't. <laughs> this is just too beautiful. All the details, even the rim around gold with this emerald, the peacock, the feathers. And now look at the inside. Look at this intricate design, the embossing of the two peacocks with all the feathers on the side. Wow simply wow and here we have a combination of matte shades also satin some of them these two right here they look kind of like duochrome they're here eight different shades i'm gonna have to swatch it oh this feels like cream oh my gosh i refuse to swatch it <laughs> this is just too beautiful look at this shade See this shade right here? And that green? 
incredible. A lovely color story. I really love this shade right here, how it changed between a pinky, lilac -y tone, kind of like a duochrome. Let's go ahead and get it started with this shade right here. And I'm gonna use this shade and apply it above the crease. Let me tell you that these eyeshadows, they are very creamy. Like this is a matte shade, there's zero fallout and look at the pigmentation one deep that was it going now with this bronzy tone and then I'm gonna apply it on the outer third of the eyelid going into the matte brown shade and I'm applying it on my lower lash line just diffusing it I'm gonna go with this deep plum shade and I'm applying it on the outer V now I'm gonna go to this shade Going now to the green shade and I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to apply it above that purpley lavender shade and I'm just creating kind of like a little line right on the crease. Let's see if it is an arch with a lighter shade and I'm going to apply it here on my inner corner and also on my brow bone going back to the deepest shade and I'm taking it beneath my lower lash line very close to the outer third and I'm taking it also on the top lash line then with the eyeshadow look I apply some mascara and eyeliner and now let's go for you know what I want to go back again to this this is actually a face palette it's not only an eyeshadow palette and this is the only shade that I haven't used from this palette and I thought to myself what about if I use it as a blush? I know I already have a blush on, but you know, my friends, that I like to drape my blushes. I like to bring something that is lighter here and something a little bit deeper on this side. And I think I can do so with this shade right here. And I'm using a blue scroll hair brush. That way it picks up the right amount of product. And let's just go ahead and see. Kind of like when you get hit by the sun, and this shade right here brings together the shade that I have right here. I think it looks so pretty. I already have highlighter on, but this shade right here, you can use it as a highlighter. And now going into the lipsticks. I have various different lipsticks right here. Mm, let's start first with a new product for Florasis, which are their velvety lip glaze. I love these unicorns. I just feel that they just are so beautiful. But wait to see. Oh my, my, my. Look at this packaging. Stunning. The top foot applicator and this over right here is the shape 517 
Actually, it is a velvet mat. Non-drying, super thin, and look at this pigmentation. Wow. The shade is gorgeous too. Is this brick red? Some fire orange. Stunning. Now to the shade M306. I just cannot get over <laughs> the beautiful lipstick. So beautiful. And this over here, it's more of like what it seems like a mauve tone, which is right up my alley. Oh, yes. Such a beautiful shade. I thought it was going to be a true mauve tone, but it does have a little bit of pink, tiny bit of warmth. It has that velvet finish. Lovely shade. Going into the last lipstick, the Floral Dewy Lipstick. You have to see this packaging. Oh my word. Do you see the brocade all around, all the design? This chain right here came in separately, so you can attach it, take it off if you want to. And then it has a little, kind of like a lock that is simply to dispense your lipstick. <laughs> and that's not it and that's not it there is a peacock right there there's even more designs right here the feathers. I just feel so bad to even swatch. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I just have to do it. I just have to do it. Okay. This is, again, the shade M9213. This is the makeup look of the day. Let me tell you what I think about these products. I think starting first with the setting powder, I think it did an amazing job at setting my under eye concealer, this area right here without being, this is the thing, I'm over 40 years old. I do have a lot of fine lines on this area right here and I do have very dark and dry circles. So I use usually a couple products to minimize the look of the under eye circles. And when I use any type of powder, I like powders that they are very finely meal, that they do not cake or dry my under eye area. And this is exactly what this powder did for me. Very lightweight without being too modifying. There's still a little bit of a natural radiance to the skin that it looks just very, very beautiful. Next will be the blush. I really love this little compact. I think one is travel friendly because how small it is, yet it does have a good amount of product, four grams of product. And I love that I was able to build up the pigmentation up to I got to this shade right here. So you can go lightly, put a little bit more if you need to. And I love that here you have basically two products in one one of them being a highlighter and the other one being the blush the blush is of a beautiful 
kind of like satin formulation, not too shiny, there's no shimmer in it, but you can mix it in if you want to and give a little bit of that extra shine, extra glow to your skin if you want to. I love the shade, it's a very lovely muted rosy tone that it just gives a very healthy look to the skin. Now going into the highlighter, I was really surprised about the highlighter because of the formulation. It's pretty much like a cream formula without being a cream. So emollient. I, I'm just like Wow, really impressed about this highlighter. I love the tone of it because here it's between a peachy pink champagne tone, which means that it will suit for various skin tones depending on your undertone too. I do have a light to medium skin tone and when I tan, I get very golden in tone. And as you can tell, you cannot see a trace of this highlighter. It looks like it has blend with the skin. It's not emphasizing my texture or my fine lines or even my enlarged pores. I do have enlarged pores right here in this area and they go all the way up here and I don't see them enlarge. It's a very lovely, lovely highlighter. And you know, you just need a very little amount. A little goes a long way. If you don't wanna have that beaming highlighter, you can build it up the intensity slowly. Don't dig in too much. And then going with the eyeshadow palette, face palette, I should say. I have to say that the formulation of each of the eyeshadows on this palette is exquisite. Again, how soft, silky, borderline creamy-like. They don't have any, absolutely zero fallout. Look at the pan. I went ahead and just put my brush. I didn't have to dig in. I just tap. The pigmentation was there. It deposited really well. It glide on the skin. There's no patchiness. There's nothing that it got muddy. And I used pretty much all of the shades on my eyelid, except for this one right here. As you know, I use it as layering blush right here on top to create kind of like that drapery look. And wow, if this formulation, if it works as a blush, that's when you know when an eyeshadow is really good, that doesn't emphasize texture, it doesn't emphasize the fine lines, it doesn't gather on the fine lines, that's when you know that a nice shadow formula is really good. I think it has to do again with the amount of emollient on this formulation that actually is very forgiving if you have hooded eyes, if you have a lot of folds on your eyelids. Love the blendability and love that, for example, you know that I love luxury brands. Luxury products are my thing. But one of the things that pulls me in into the luxury is not only the payoff pigmentation, the type of formulation that they offer, but also how compact are their products. And here, this palette is not super big, it's not too, too thick. The presentation is amazing, stunning, right? But not only that, here, they are able to give you eight shades in a condensed way with no loss of space. I really love too that each of the shades, they are protected by this metal ring right here, meaning that as you start using it and using it, it's not gonna be like they are gonna start breaking and kind of like shifting around or coming out of the pan. They are all encased on their own unique pan and you get eight shades right here on this smaller format compact. That to me, I appreciate. I don't need to have something too big, too large to have not only the quality, the beauty, and the luxurious packaging, but also I'm getting eight different shades. I love that none of them, they look, all these looks one I like to the other. I love that they are giving us a topper shade, metallic shade, matte shades, satin shades, I mean, you have a really good variety right here of shades. And also another important factor right here, it is the amount of product that you're receiving, for example, on this face palette, nine grams of product. Nine grams, that's quite a bit for this condensed but beautiful packaging. And now going into the lipsticks. The velvety lipsticks, just as the name says it, they are velvety lipsticks with a matte finish. They are very comfortable and they are super thin on formulation and they carry a punch 
of pigmentation they do have full opacity you don't have to pass it two times with one dip go and that's it and the packaging absolutely stunning look at this it looks royal to me so beautiful and then what can I say about this lipstick right here? One, it is my type of shade. I love the pigmentation. Again, I didn't have to use too much. I didn't have to swipe it too many times. The opacity is there. It's more of kind of like a satin lipstick. Very soft, smoothing. It's not gathering on the fine lines of my lips. And to have this gorgeous piece right here, it makes it even better. I mean, all this presentation to me is just exquisite. So exquisite. Oh, and almost forgot about the lip balm. I really love the herbal scent that it has. It reminds me to a very fine kind of like tea with floral. It's very nourishing, hydrating, balmy, but without being oily. Actually, it feels very hydrating, moisturizing very much like a lip mask that will provide a lot of protection to your lips. I'm so in love with all the products that I have tried from Florasis from the presentation. To me, this is simply art. A lot of people I'm gonna end up here like when I started it. Many have called Florasis the most beautiful makeup in the world. To me, this is art from the intricate design of the packaging the outside to the embossing of each of the products to the meaning because each of these products they tell a story they are tied to tradition of the chinese culture and that itself is precious and i'm talking from the point of view of a person that i'm from a different culture i'm peruvian i'm sure you were able to tell that I'm not American because of my accent. And to me, talking about my own culture, my own tradition, give me such a huge sense of pride. And then bringing something not only so beautiful, but also the performance being of such high quality speaks volume, volume. Gorgeous, gorgeous products from Florasis. I want to say thank you once again to Florasis for being so kind, so generous to send me all these products my way so I can try them and showcase them to you. And thank you so much to Florasis for extending a discount code. For all of you, my followers, again, all the details will be on the description box below along with the links for your convenience. And now I would love to know from you, have you tried Florasis? Which of the products that I present to you today are going to your wish list? Let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below. And while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.